like finding out you're pregnant. You know, oh, it's shock, <laughs> it's trepidate, it's like fear, and then like, wait a minute, this could be the most awesome thing ever. Most things don't come around twice. So this one coming around one more time, I think it's time and we're all very, very excited and happy to be back together. We're also happy to embrace the new designers, see what they have to bring. I think my initial reaction was, that's great, but people have such fond memories of the original. People really have that kind of close feeling about it. And I just wanted to make sure that we were going to be able to keep the integrity of the show and to bring it back in the style that it deserves to be brought back in, and we are certainly doing that. I was not at all surprised by the reaction that people were excited that Trading Spaces was coming back, because fans have asked me that every day for 10 years. Is it coming back, or will you guys do a reunion? And people have definitely been uh, crying out for it. I knew of the show and I knew it was big and I didn't know how big it was and how much people loved it. Training Spaces was the howdy duty of, of this generation and it was really a phenomenon. I was completely heartwarmed by the outpouring of love and attention and excitement. We have $2,000, and we also, each um, each homeowner or each designer has a carpenter to work with, which we hadn't done before. So we're, we have the uh, the good old music. Do you remember it? <laughs> so I think it's those, like, sense memory things uh, that viewers from 10 years ago and even before are going to really, you know, respond to, that, that nostalgia. Um, of feel good TV. My role on the show as host is to constantly check in about time and budget. I do take it very seriously. I am very serious about the show being authentic. I'm very serious that we truly represent to America what can be done in the two day time frame, minus children and pets and stopping the rest of your life <laughs> in those two days, and that it be done for the $2,000. So no, it's not okay if you, oh, you over $18 or you're over three or $4, it's like, no, nope, something comes out. I'm the one who helps everybody remember that it also is fun and should be fun. Doug. Doug. <laughs> Definitely Doug. Our biggest challenge. No. <laughs> I think it, but really, I think it was joining a cast that had, they're really tight, they are a family, and not knowing how they were going to accept us. And John and I both have worked in design TV for so many years. We worked on design budget shows, you know, mm -hmm. so I think we were fairly competent in that regard, but not really joining this cast, I think, was I was a little nervous about. I like the competitive nature of the show. I feel like even though there isn't a competition per se, there is a sort of competition every See, episode. I don't get that at all. Well, how is there a, a competition I, really, between how? designers? What's the, the competition? On the show, between the teams. We didn't know that you were so competitive. Tom. I know. I'm going to have to up my game. I feel like I win <laughs> all these competitions. <laughs> <laughs>